In my country, the average testosterone level for a man is 650 nanograms per deciliter. So this guy was actually walking around with more testosterone in his body than 84 healthy Belgian males. Hi folks, it's Uranus from Brussels, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the highest ever recorded testosterone levels I've ever seen on any human being, if you can still call this human at this point. And we're starting right now. So, Dallas McCarver was a professional bodybuilder with an extremely massive physique for his age. He seemed to have a very promising career as at a very young age he was already competing against the very best on the biggest bodybuilding stages in the world. I used to watch a lot of videos of this guy back in the days and he always seemed like a hardworking and positive person. He was such a massive guy, you know, he was over 300 pounds of lean muscle and he looked like an actual mutant. 300 pounds of muscle on a 6 foot frame. His dream was to become Mr. Olympia and to write his name in the history of the sport. Now I said was because unfortunately he tragically passed away in 2017 at the age of 26 years old and we will soon find out, find out why. I believe this picture was taken at his very last bodybuilding competition where he finished Second, the guy next to him, Cedric McMillan, won this competition. Now, in the meantime, unfortunately, both, the, both these guys have passed away from steroid abuse. Dallas died of heart failure and the autopsy report that was published revealed some very interesting facts. The extent to which hormones were abused by this man at such a young age is staggering and the stress that he must have put on his organs is unimaginable. First of all, his heart was three times the size of a normal human heart and his arteries were in very bad shape which ultimately led to heart failure. When you're abusing anabolic steroids at that level, your body is growing but your organs are growing too and that is putting much more stress on them. According to Generation Iron, Dallas McCarver was weighing around 345 pounds at the moment where he passed away or 155 kilograms of muscle. So his heart had to, had to work much harder and ultimately gave out. And his other organs like his lungs and his liver also showed signs of massive steroid abuse. So that's the first thing that, that catches the eye when you're looking at his autopsy report. Secondly, he had the highest testosterone level I have ever seen on any other human. Possibly the highest testosterone level ever recorded. He had a testosterone level of 550 nanograms per milliliter which converts to 55,000 nanograms per deciliter. That's not even in the insane category anymore. That is like stratospheric. In my country, the average testosterone level for a man is 650 nanograms per deciliter. So this guy was actually walking around with more testosterone in his body than 84 healthy Belgian males. It's been said that to reach that high level of testosterone, he must have been injecting between 5 grams and 10 grams of testosterone per week. Now, if you compare that with my HRT, that is the equivalent of between 20 and 40 of these ampoules every single week. Now, imagine injecting 40 milliliters of oil into your body every single week. And that's not even the only thing he was taking. I mean, at that point, you're a walking pharmacy, you're no longer building your body, you're actually destroying your body. And if you look at his face when he was 26 years old, you can really see the stress that he put his body under. He was 26, but if you look at this face, he looks so much older than he actually was. This is the face that he had when he had his pro card and a couple of years before he passed away and you can really see the before and after you know his body must have been under so much stress from all the hormones side effects from high testosterone include skin problems like acne excessive body hair and loss of hair on the scalp higher blood pressure and uh, thicker blood heart problems liver problems prostate issues sweating and bloating and 
Probably also estrogenic side effects from the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Now those are just the physical side effects of too much testosterone. There are also the mental side effects like aggression, mood disorders, libido disorders, anxiety, depression, anger and so on. I mean imagine living with more testosterone than 84 healthy males. I have already walked around with more testosterone in my blood than I should have had and I can tell you up here is just not the same. You don't think the same way. Your mind and your thought patterns are not the same. I can't even imagine how it must feel like up there to have 55,000 nanograms per deciliter of this stuff running through your veins. The thing with steroids is at one point you're going to reach diminishing returns. In the beginning you take a little bit and you have massive gains but after a while you have to take more and more to reach the results that you want and in the end at some point you will have to take so much gear and put your body under so much pressure to gain just a couple of more pounds of muscle and it's not worth it anymore because you've reached the point of really diminishing returns. The gains are not worth the cons. I've always admired bodybuilders for their discipline and work ethic and of course who doesn't like to see a prime Ronnie Coleman squat 800 pounds. Yeah! Oh But this sport isn't healthy at that level of steroid abuse. In this case, Dallas took it too far and his obsession ultimately led to his death. He also had all the warning signs before. A couple of months before unfortunately passing away, he collapsed on stage and somebody had to help him. So he had all the warning signs, but still he continued to abuse anabolic steroids. McCarver was one of the first majorly young shocking dead in recent bodybuilding history and unfortunately he won't be the last one. If you plan on using any performance enhancing drugs know that the consequences on your health might be lethal. Dallas had a pre-existing medical condition with his heart and unfortunately combined with the massive steroid abuse that he did this man left us way too soon at the age of 26 years old when he was just getting started. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video, subscribe if you like this kind of content and catch you on the next one. Uranus out.